Hello intellectuals, welcome back to our today's tutorial. Today we want to introduce earthy geometry and we are going to handle just the first part of what we are dealing with in earthy geometry. Okay, how do we define earthy geometry? It's a mathematical, a branch of mathematics and it deals with the following. One, that is allocating places on the earth surface. Okay, that is the first thing that earth geometry deals with. Then the second thing is calculating the distances between two points or two towns. Okay, then the last thing is finding the time difference and calculating speed. So those are the few things that we are going to be handling under earth geometry. In today's lesson, we are going to concentrate ourselves on allocating points on the earth surface. This first part will help us a lot because whatever we'll be doing under these last two concepts will be based on locating the points on the earth surface. When you look at the earth, the earth is in a spherical form. So the radius for the earth in kilometers is 6370 kilometers. That is 6,370 kilometers. Then in nautical miles, that is 3,437 nautical miles. So these are the radars that you need to keep in mind. When you are asked a question to say, find the distance in nautical miles, you need to remember the radars for the Earth in nautical miles. If it is in, you are finding distance in kilometers, you need to remember the radius for the earth in kilometers. I hope it's clear there. We proceed. Then again, we have imaginary lines on the earth surface there. Those imaginary lines, we have longitudes and latitudes. So those imaginary lines are latitudes and the longitudes. These two imaginary lines are the ones that will help us to allocate points on the earth surface as well as they are very important when you are calculating distance even when you are finding the time difference between two positions. Let us go to the next step. Now we want to define what latitudes are. So if you look at your earth surface there Latitudes are just lines that are drawn from east to west on the Greenwich Meridian. Of course, I'm going to put up a diagram. So if you look at the diagram down here, I'm sure you are able to note that these lines, you've seen the way the lines are running. So this is west and this is the east part of the earth. Okay, so the Greenwich Meridian will be passing through here. That is the Greenwich Meridian. Okay. Let me just draw up a Greenwich Meridian just there. Okay, so if you look at the, the lines here, we are saying these are lines which are running from where? East to West. Okay, so you can see these are latitudes. In, including the equator itself is also a latitude. So whenever you see these lines running like this on your earth surface, just know that those are latitudes. Let us go to longitudes. Longitudes, these are lines that are running from north to south. Okay, so north to south, those are longitudes. Okay, so a sample, so as you can see here, we have a Greenwich Meridian, and that just like the one I drawn there. So that is your Greenwich Meridian just there. Then we have these lines besides now. Those are longitudes, I'm sure you can see I've indicated. Okay, so they are running from where? From north to the south part of the earth surface. You can see that. So those are longitudes. Those two points are very important. 
let us proceed to now how do you allocate points on the earth surface using longitudes and latitudes how do you allocate so allocating the uh, the points you first of all write the latitude on which your point or your town is seated on then comma you end with the, the longitude where it is seated on so there are two things there you can allocate the points on the earth surface with the latitude and the longitude where your point is seated on now how do you allocate how do you identify to say these are latitudes so from the concept there we have said the latitudes are running from where east to west so if you are you want to allocate the degrees there what is the major key the major key if you want to allocate a latitude just know that on your degree there should be a north or a south of course there is equator which doesn't have which is a neutral one equator and the greenwich meridian those are neutral ones they don't have poles but the rest they have poles so for the latitudes you expect it to have a north pole or a south pole if it has zero degrees it will not have any pole because it's a neutral one I, i'm sure we are following each other there okay then the last one is the longitudes the longitudes we have said these lines are running from north to south now if you want to uh, allocate the degrees there you follow the degrees with west or east once you see west or east on your degrees what should come in your mind is that those are longitudes i hope we are moving together so an example we can give stating a location we look at this so town a you've seen i've written town a then what is at the beginning here 40 degrees north just a poor north itself coming back to this so this because of the north it is falling under latitude so when you are stating a location you need to start first of all with a latitude then you can see the second one comma 70 degrees east the east is where is falling under longitudes so here it means you have stated D, the position of town a it means it is seated on e. good latitude d 40 degrees north then longitude d 70 degrees east we can give another example of town b 70 degrees south because of the south it is falling under latitudes so 70 degrees south then 85 degrees west west is in the longitudes i'm sure you are able to note those differences so that is how you state the location of a particular point on the earth surface okay so let us go to the actual problem now we want to try out on this problem allocating points on this earth surface so this point uh, the question is saying the diagram below shows the sketch of the earth with points a to g labeled on it write down the positions of points a to g so we are writing all these points from a to g let us begin so let us look at point a so this is where point a is so remember we start off first of all with the, the point we are allocating so i've written the data i'm allocating the position for point a so we start with the latitude and i've said latitudes it's either north or south those are latitudes so in this case if you look at our earth surface we have only three latitudes we have the 80 degrees north the zero degrees and the 60 degrees south those are the only latitudes we have on this surface so far so if i want to allocate a point i will look at this is my point just right here 
this point is seated on this latitude you've seen eh? latitude is a line with, which is running from where east to west so this is west this is east i'll look at the lines that are running from east to west so where a is seated on that is 80 degrees north so 80 degrees north okay then you put your capital letter north comma then what is the longitude the longitude should be running from south i mean from north to the south part of the earth surface so this line here this is a longitude where a is seated on and we follow where there is east or west those are longitudes so if you look at on this part here this line here is seated on longitude 40 degrees i mean 43 degrees east so comma 43 degrees east it means you have stated the position for point a i hope we are following each other there so our point for a is 80 degrees north comma 43 degrees east that is the answer for a we have stated the location then let us go for b if you look at where b is seated on this part here the dotted line is simply telling you to say you are still under the same latitude so this latitude is a continuation now it is on the other side of the earth surface but it is still the same latitude so b is also on 80 degrees it is still on 80 degrees north okay it is on the north side or north hemisphere of the earth surface so 80 degrees north comma what is the longitude so if you look at the longitude for b it is not the same as the longitude for a the longitude for b you can see it's this one here this is the longitude so in this case the longitude here is indicated as 64 degrees west so 64 degrees west you make sure that your pause you write them in capital letters okay so we are done it means the location or the position of b is 80 degrees north comma 64 degrees west so that is the answer for b let us proceed to c c is seated on what now if you look at c c is seated on latitude zero degrees i've said if it is zero degrees if it is in the latitudes that latitude is the equator and it doesn't have any pole so this one you just write zero degrees comma then what is the longitude the longitude c is on the same longitude as b so it is still 64 degrees west so for c we have zero degrees comma 64 degrees west good we proceed to d if you look at where d is seated on this dotted line is a continuation of this latitude which is in board here and this latitude which is in board here is latitude 60 degrees south so for d we'll say 60 degrees where so 60 degrees south that is the latitude then the longitude for d if you look at where it is coming from you remember this line this line here is a green witch meridian because it is a green witch meridian this one here it is also zero degrees so 60 degrees south then comma zero degrees that is the longitude okay that is d then if you look at e e is seated on 60 degrees south then the longitude you can see where e is lying c i mean e is lying on 43 degrees east so you can see my e there 60 degrees south then 43 degrees east that is the longitude there okay we go to 
uh, f f is seated on the same latitude 60 degrees south so that is my latitude then my longitude for f it is on this other side which is 64 degrees west so that is my f there i hope you are following there then let us go for the last one uh not okay so we still have two more so we go for g then we come to h g is seated on so this is a continuation where g is seated it is a continuation of my latitude zero degrees okay so g is on zero degrees then the longitude again it is seated on the greenwich meridian so the greenwich meridian is zero degrees as well so zero degrees comma zero degrees that is the location for g we go for h h is seated on latitude zero degrees then if you look at the longitude for h easy 43 degrees east so that is the location for h so that's all guys so you make sure when you are locating a point on the earth surface you make sure you put the degrees in brackets because those are those are coordinates so make sure you put them in e brackets and the first thing you start with you start first of all with the latitudes the latitudes can be north they can be zero degrees they can be south those are latitudes then what comes after comma you put the longitudes now the longitudes can also be uh, can also be west can be zero degrees it can be east those are longitudes if you do that it means you are set on allocating the positions so don't miss out in our next tutorial the part two we are going to learn on how to calculate the distance along the latitudes as well as the longitudes so make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed to our channel so that whenever we post a new video you are notified thank you very much guys see you next time